So last year, 2020, I joined the team and we conducted a survey um, using drones to map the slip again and to see what changed. Uh, and we came up with images that are fantastic. The reason they're so good is because they're not just pretty pictures, they are geo-referenced and digital so that we can quantify change over the years. We are standing at the Cotton Brook landslide in Stowe, and we are looking at how this landslide formed and how it changed over time. You can see a little mound of tan-colored sediment just here about the same level where I'm standing. And then below me is a pretty deep ravine. So the interesting thing is in 2019, when this happened, there was no ravine. Between 2019 and 2020, this formed. The creek changed location and cut down, kind of like a Grand Canyon effect, all of this material and flushed it downstream towards the reservoir. It really does take a team effort to figure out how landslides happen uh, and to try to predict them. So the overall goal of this project is to understand mechanisms of mass wasting and how they impact communities and see if we can understand processes well enough to uh, apply that knowledge elsewhere in Vermont and provide service to the state. Uh, this does form part of, of UVM's land-grant mission of service to the state, and we are proud to be a part of that. Landslides are becoming more frequent, and people have noticed that with increased, especially catastrophic rainstorms or um, rains that, that are, are long in duration, landslides of all types tend to form soon after that. And so we are expecting landslides to increase in frequency. They're very hard to predict, but we are expecting that. And we are part of a national effort to try to map landslides, understand them, and come up with mitigation strategies.